I had an issue with my back when I was about 14 years old. Um, just it started out with some mild pain in my back. Um, I was pretty avid into uh, sports in high school. Um, went on to play college basketball. Um, just lived with the back pain. And then once I quit playing basketball, um, it became something that was more prevalent in my life. The pain that I was experiencing in my back kind of uh, stopped me from interacting with my daughter. Uh, you know, I was unable to play with her as much as I would have liked. Um, you know, there were times that I had to miss work. Uh, when I saw him in the office, he, uh, he was diagnosed with a fracture that didn't heal in his spine, and that was causing his back pain and his leg pain. Well, I think when we approach treatment, the number one thing is to think about what makes a patient happy in terms of what they're used to doing, what they, what they want to do with their life. Uh, for instance, in Eric's case, he wanted to be active again. Um, so that was kind of the main goal. I think the first thing is establishing those goals, and then after that, seeing what uh, options there are. So we had to do a spinal fusion um, to keep the vertebrae in place so it wouldn't do any more damage to my discs. I think he's doing very well. Uh, despite being on uh, multiple pain medications for multiple years, he's slowly weaning those off and is actually uh, getting back to an active life for which he had before all of this happened. Now he's recovering. We're able to go out. He, we're going to the park and playing. You know, I'm really looking forward to becoming a, a, an active person because I always was. And I, I think I'll be able to now. 